Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Gonzi and today we are going to be reacting to another casual geographic banger, this time called Yeah, I can explain. I have no clue what this is about. So we're gonna find out together. So without further ado, let's get it, man. Let's react to this. You guys know how much I love casual geographic. Homie is the goat. So yeah, let's go. Oh yeah, I've seen this this video, bro. Clearly fake. The video is fake, but what's yeah, real is the course. hate I have for y'all for making me fish watch this so many times. As Sandy. you can tell from the soul sapped eyes, those fish are dead and probably being controlled by whoever's recording like yep. a sick corpse puppet. Fish that don't move like that, and they sure as hell don't bitch. bury themselves I, in the sand outside the water. So they're clearly being manipulated that by bitch. somebody just outside the camera Fucking shot. And after being inside idiots. the rotting carcass of two fish, even if that eel was alive, I promise you he'd be dead in all the ways that yep. matter. Also, the guy that posted that video Look on YouTube also made this. And if you think a satanic fish orgy is real, then I have some beachside property I would love to sell to you. So yeah, the video is fake, everything in it's dead, including Cut me, because hair, witnessing bro, this demonic the deep throat killed a part of me that was yeah. hanging by a thread for many years. Long story short, Cloud makes people do unspeakable Shut things, up. and orchestrating a dead fish hentai scene in the very much 4K is one of them. Now I'm gonna go take out my contacts for the rest of the week, because I've seen more than enough. But why? Why do beavers build dicks? So beavers are like a happy meal of bears, cougars, I and wolves, so they build lodges hmm. to keep from getting eaten. No, remember. Beavers build dams to block water flow to create ponds. Despite what you might oh. think, beavers don't live in the actual dam. Instead, oh. they build lodges in the middle of the pond and chill there. The lodges oh. have an underwater entrance, but the den is above water. That makes water. sense. So if a beaver ever gets pressed so by like just, a wolverine it's or just something, having pond. waterside real estate means they can always okay. escape home easily. Also, the beaver lodge is self-heating and keeps the family warm during the winter. Ooh, and because nice. beavers have been doing this for like 8 million years, now they just do it out of habit. In some places, beavers will build protective bunkers even when there's no predators like bears around. Damn. Beavers have such an urge to build dams that just the sound of running water triggers them and they use it as a cue to make repairs on the dam and the lodge. No, I'm really? like, seriously, if you record the sound of running water and then play it on a speaker for a family of beavers, you make them want to build. That's One scientist actually fun. played the sound of running That's water on a loudspeaker and the beavers instinctively started building a dam over the speaker. Don't let my lack of emotion fool you. It's the cutest thing I've it ever is. This is how wolves and ravens are slowly becoming best friends. Oh. Ravens in Yellowstone will call out to wolves Bro, when they find food really and smart. lead the wolf pack to a free meal. Wolves, in exchange, the ravens, ravens take the leftovers the wolves leave behind. There they can be up to a hundred ravens waiting for their turn years, after the wolves. It's the ridiculous. wolves tear the carcass to shreds and make it easier for the ravens to take their share. But it yeah. turns out the ravens are actually starting to form relationships with the wolves, especially the pups. Ravens were seen really? grabbing sticks and playing tug of war with the young pups and even snapping at their tails to get the pups to playfully chase them. And most of the time, the wolves play along. Ravens are smart enough to remember a face after five years, which is why yeah, scientists believe that. that specific ravens have started bonding with individual wolves in the pack. So Makes not sense. only have wolves and ravens realized that they're better off with each other, they've even started forming emotional attachments, which means Damn. there's a chance that if you take food out of the equation, they'd still want to be around each other. I swear there's a Disney movie in here it somewhere. Is. So after there's thousands of years of living there. around each For other, sure. wolves and ravens have learned to tolerate, benefit from, and eventually trust each other. You absolutely love to see it. Arctic fox facts that you definitely need in your life. They actually change colors based on the season. They're Caucasian Love canines during the winter bro. to help them hide. Cutest but come summer, they coat switch to brown probably. and gray. When the days get longer, it causes so hormonal changes, which causes the color change. Since they live in an air-conditioned hell, the up, ice fox bro. will use its tail as a blanket to stay so warm. Cute. Also, being white helps keep them from freezing to death. White fur is hollow, which traps more heat and saves them from becoming a furry popsicle. Since they have the warmest coat in the Arctic, they can survive temperatures as low as negative 60 degrees Fahrenheit. For reference, at negative 18, your exposed skin would freeze in less than 15 minutes. Ooh. They're basically snow chihuahuas. They're that small. Most Ooh. of them don't weigh more than 10 pounds, and their tail is a third of their size. Despite their size, mm. they're born with the audacity to steal from no exaggeration the biggest predator on the planet. They that just steal from polar Tiny bears. Tiny will steal food from polar bears, even though the ice bears can easily that, turn them into a chalk outline with zero courage, hesitation. Bro. Sometimes when foxes get really down bad, they'll eat polar bear poop to survive. Since Dang. the Arctic fox lives in a refrigerated graveyard, they'll hide emergency food supplies in a bunch of underground pantries. Mm -hmm. One fox that was caught with a sense. snack stash of 38 birds, four rabbits, and about a dozen eggs. They mate for life, and they're usually monogamous meaning they only have one partner. They wow. live in Satan's cooler and still find love, yet here you are watching this video alone in bed now. Come That's on, man. But when there's more food- Bro! Come on, my boy! Don't expose me like that! Yeah, but he's kind of right. No, not kind of. He is right. <laughs> He is right. One uh, part. They live in Satan's cooler and still find is. love. Yet here you are watching this video alone in bed now. That's tough. But when there's more food in an area, the fox couple will start to bed, sleep around. Because like Chris Rock said, you're only as faithful as your options. Yep. For future relationship reasons, that was a joke. There's an animal related to a squirrel that can get you murked by a lion. This Damn. is an African crested porcupine. Whoa. As a rodent, it pulls up to the same reunion as capybara, beavers, and rats. And there's about 30,000 reasons oh, why yeah. you don't want no smoke with them. Because no. when threatened, the porcupine will turn Come around, on. run backwards, and then shake it with the quills growing that's out of its cool back. Animal. If one of the quills that's gets cool. in your skin, it'll swell up and push deeper until it hits vital organs or arteries. And at that point, you can go ahead and push pick what shoes deeper, you want to your cast. Don't worry, that's not the worst thing about them. Because oh, these no. spike gerbils will run fades with lions and win. A porcupine can cripple a full grown lion to the point where it can't hunt anymore. It's like the lion
fine version of tearing your ACL, just out for the season. So Dang. if a lion gets put on a stretcher by a porcupine and can't hunt anymore, they'll get so desperate that they'll start hunting the animal that lives in your mirror. In 1965, one lion hashtagged so many people that it was called the man-eater of Darajani. But there oh. was a reason this lion chose homicide. The lion had gotten so injured by a porcupine that his only option was to hunt and eat humans. Dang. Moral of this video, this blade beaver is such a menace that it can get you blinded back by a lion. Bro. That is a scientifically accurate sentence and it really shouldn't be. So like, you know hedgehogs and porcupines aren't related, right? Porcupines what? are rodents, no. meaning they're cousins with beavers, capybaras, squirrels, and rats. Oh. You can tell because they all have the same pair of Timmy okay. Turners. Hedgehogs actually aren't rodents, they're part of a family called- Oh f me. Hedgehogs are part of the family Arunaceidae, and their closest cousin is this guy you've probably never heard of called a Jimnur. Also called a moon rat. But with a face like moon that, rat. nobody really calls him. And yeah. both hedgehogs and Jimnurs are closely related to moles and true shrews. And then you have the echidna, who isn't related to porcupines or hedgehogs. Instead, it's a monotreme, which means Knuckles pulls up to the same family reunion oh, as Perry. Okay. And the reason all three look so similar without being related is because this weird thing called convergent evolution. Basically, like you and your boys come up with the same answer to a test and a teacher accuses you of cheating, but each of mm. you came up with it on your own. Okay. The spiny duck, the fur cactus, and the blade beaver all came up with similar answers to the test of life. The more you know. Stealing the one of the king's know. sheep was punishable by death penalty according to an old English law and will. But the punishment for having with one was only 10 years. Wow. So in order to avoid the death penalty what? and just take the 10 years, if a thief was ever caught in the act of stealing a sheep, they would just pull their pants down and say they weren't stealing it, but trying to steal their innocence. Mm -hmm. And apparently one of the lines a guy caught in the act used was, I'm not a thief, I'm just a pervert. And oh it actually worked. They were able to Eurostep the death penalty, but they had to live a life with the reputation of being a sheep stuffer. Yeah, that story's not, not true. Sheep like, stuff, at bro. all. Not like, it's 100% okay, uh, but it's one of the foulest fake stories I've bro. ever read, so I just oh wanted to God. talk about it. Also, some it guy real. in Wales caught a police officer a sheep f***er and got arrested, so yeah, kind of a soft spot. You know, one of the Dang. most messed up things nature ever did was cock block an innocent whale for no reason at all. So the story goes, in 1989, the US Navy picked up on a weird sound vibrating throughout the Pacific Ocean. Definitely mm. wasn't a submarine, and scientists quickly realized that whatever was making that sound was returning to the same spot every year. They realized it was a whale, but this mm -hmm. whale was special. This whale was calling out at a frequency of 52 hertz, where other whales oh, like I've heard this story. To 10 to 40. Nobody Basically, imagine you had a phone with a number that couldn't call or be called by anybody. Yep. And since no whale ever called back, scientists believe this was the world's loneliest whale. Yeah. Technically, blue whales are solitary to begin with, so probably not the loneliest, but definitely the horniest. Since whales like the blue whale and humpback sing to pull females. And since one blue whale wrinkle berry can weigh over 150 pounds, poor guy physically had the worst case of blue balls the world had ever Damn. seen. Leading scientists believe this done wrong whale was a result of either having damaged vocalization or being yeah. a bluefin hybrid. No, uh, but some the other whales believe he isn't as lonely as we thought, because even though he hits notes he has no business hitting, it's possible other whales actually can hear him. But popular opinion says it's 52 hertz booty call has gone unanswered for years, which is why this whale allegedly lives in complete isolation. Yeah, yeah. Long story short, basically the whale got crotch nazi by his own voice. And BTS made a song about it. Because of course they did. Low-key, this would actually make a pretty good movie. It and was. someone actually made it. The Loneliest oh. Whale is in theaters right now, and it'll be on demand July 16th. Oh, Check wow, it out if you I want to learn know. more about the whale nature okay. decided would die a virgin. Because getting over is the closest he'll ever get. Oh wow, bro. Beavers is munching, dude. That's cute. That's so cute. So yeah, guys, another banger by Casual Geographic, man. A lot of good information that I didn't know about the beavers and everything. The ravens and the wolf stuff was really cool. So yeah, man, another great video by the homie. He's staying the goat, although he did expose me and probably watching some of you watching this video. We do be alone in watching this, so. He's got the point though, so. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching the video, man. If you guys enjoyed it as much as I did, and if you did, go subscribe to Casual Geographic. Bro is just phenomenal what he does. But don't forget to win videos on the channel, though. Come on, man. Keep God first, as always. Drink water, go tell somebody who loves them, man. If you're here, you already know what to do, man. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. My name is Gunzi, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.